This small pile of compost looks great, but it's hiding a health hazard. I turned it yesterday. I measured hydrogen sulfide concentrations over 100 parts per million at the pile surface and up to 7 parts per million in the loader while I was turning it. It's only about a dump truck load. It's two and a half months old and I've turned it four times and have measured high hydrogen sulfide concentration each time I turned it. This is spent mushroom compost. It's a great soil amendment. It has a lot of nutrients that plants need, including calcium and sulfur. Spent mushroom compost is especially great in acid soils. We in British Columbia produce several hundred thousand tons of this spent mushroom compost each year. Small users of compost can obtain fresh spent mushroom compost at a lower cost than well-rotted material. There's two disadvantages. First, Fresh spent mushroom compost further decomposes quickly and we end up with only about 50% of the volume after a few weeks. Second, as we see with this pile, we may end up with elevated concentrations of hydrogen sulfide. Where does the hydrogen sulfide come from? It comes from the gypsum, which is calcium sulfate, a component of the mushroom substrate. When bacteria don't have enough oxygen, they use the sulfate as an electron acceptor, thus producing hydrogen sulfide. It's a potentially deadly gas. At concentrations up to 100 parts per million, it smells like rotten eggs. At concentrations above 100 parts per million, we no longer smell it. And at concentrations above 700 parts per million, it can be fatal. In our province, the safe acceptable concentration of hydrogen sulfide is 5 parts per million. This is strictly enforced at facilities that produce mushroom substrate, but there's little attention paid to spent mushroom compost. Hydrogen sulfide accumulates in stored fresh spent mushroom compost when it's not aerated. These concentrations have been measured to exceed 1,000 parts per million, which is the concentration at which death is imminent. Is the risk always present with spent mushroom compost? No, it's not. As the spent mushroom compost becomes well rotted, microbial activity decreases and there is likely to be more oxygen present and hydrogen sulfide is no longer produced. Can we aerate this product to reduce the risk of hydrogen sulfide accumulation as well as optimize the compost process? Yes, we can. This graph demonstrates the temperature and oxygen concentrations achieved under more optimal composting conditions. When we reduce the amount of available carbon by further composting the spent mushroom compost, we dramatically reduce the risk of hydrogen sulfide accumulation in the product, although the potential health risk with spent mushroom compost may be lower than during production of the mushroom substrate, the risk remains. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.